The Cleveland Browns will introduce their new coach tomorrow, whether you like the pick or not. Next up, the search for a new GM and the voice of the Browns. Jimmy Donovan joins us with some possible candidates. A kind of a slow couple of days for you, right? Yeah, kind of a little <laughs> bit of a slow couple of days. And of course, we were waiting on the official announcement that Kevin Stefanski was the new head coach of the Cleveland Browns. We picked up, of course, the call of that yesterday. But now, as the early part of the evening tonight, the Browns did make it official. And they'll make it even more official tomorrow at 1 o'clock with a press conference down at First Energy Stadium. But there's a lot of work to be done to put the whole football operation together. They have to find kind of a, to use a political term, a running mate to go along with Stefanski. Stefanski knows this man from his years in Minnesota. He is George Payton. He'll be a candidate to interview for a general manager position with the Browns. He's worked 13 years with the Vikings. Stefanski has been with the Vikings a year longer than that, 14 years. So they know each other very well. He has worked side by side with Rick Spielman, the general manager there. And around the NFL, a lot of people feel it's time for him to become a general manager. He's just a good, solid football guy. Then the guy that the Browns know very well, Andrew Berry, who spent a couple of years here in Cleveland and always did good work for the Haslams and for Paul DePodesta and for the Browns as an organization. He took this last year and went as vice president of football operations with the Philadelphia Eagles and kind of learned at the side of Howie Roseman, a great general manager with the Eagles. The Browns are going to bring him back to interview for the job. There's a real comfort factor there. And remember, he was part of the search committee last year and he was all also, a guy that recommended Stefanski to become the head coach of the Browns last season when Freddie Kitchens got the job. Now, the buzzword around the Browns, Russ and Sarah, is, of course, this, that they have to find the general manager. One candidate took his name out of the running today from the Indianapolis Colts, Ed Dodds. Now, Dodds was more aligned with Robert Sala, who was the defensive coordinator with the San Francisco 49ers and was believed to be a strong finalist for the job here in Cleveland. But, of course, the Browns needed to get a coach right away. Sala couldn't be offered the job right now because the 49ers are still playing. Then comes the term analytics and where that is going to be involved in this. It's important to remember the Browns have always used analytics. They might have used it a little bit more a couple of years ago under John Dorsey and with Freddie Kitchens, but really specifically with Dorsey and Alonzo Smith and Elliot Wolf, that group, they weren't as passionate that they wanted analytics to drive the bus. That's going to be an open door policy right now. The bigger buzzword to go along with the new football operation with the Browns will be alignment, okay? It's aligning each other, that everybody speaks the same language, and that's why they want to pair the coach up with a guy that he'll be comfortable with. Stefanski is very comfortable with analytics, and so that's going to be back in vogue with the Browns, even more than it has been under the Dorsey regime. We talked about this earlier. A lot of people are hearing this saying, okay, when you went full tilt in analytics a few years ago, it didn't work. Why go back to that? Well, I think, again, I think that uh, you have to really embrace it. And I think at that point in time, remember, it wasn't just the analytics, but the Browns had another plan that they were kind of going to go down to the bottom, not tag, but they were going to go down to the bottom and accumulate as many draft picks as they could. That's why John Dorsey had so many high draft choices mm -hmm. a couple of years ago when he made all of those picks. Baker Mayfield, Denzel Ward, mm -hmm. Nick Chubb. Remember, that was the accumulation of picks. That was a part of analytics, too. So yeah, sure. it wasn't that, you know, they went away away from it. It's m really more that they're going to open the door to it a little bit more, but everybody has to accept it. This head coach will. Coach Stefanski meets the press tomorrow. You yes, say. he does. All right. We'll see you later, Jimmy. Okay. Thank you.